all right guys so something crazy happened in solo queue i was actually put in one of my very first high challenger games which is insane i've only played you know 800 lp challenger 700 lp all of that but i've never played with people above a thousand lp and i'm the only grandmaster you can see i'm 566 we went on I wouldn't say we went on a tilt streak, it's more like I hated my teammates and they sucked, you know, the same excuses every single time. Um, you know, there were some games that I probably could have won, but uh, yeah, uh, we were put in our challenger game. I was the only grandmaster there, 566 LP, and I want to show you guys what that game looks like, right? Okay. So I want to explain to you guys uh, what kind of happened in champ select. The only players I know is Kenvi, uh, IMT Revenge playing Zeri because he wants to play Zeri every single game for some reason, and Armel who's like Team Liquid's jungler. Uh, so I'm facing like a like a pro ex pro. I think he's like on Academy or something like that. Uh, and I don't know who Donkey Gap or Dog Got You. And basically, I don't know half these players, but. Uh, they're like super high LP, but they're pretty damn good compared to Master Chief players. And if you guys have been watching LO Tyler 1's um, climb, like they're all like, I'll be honest, they're all really stupid compared to the players I play in this game. And you'll see how good these players' mentals are. And it's not like, it's not including me. It's like everyone, like everyone played well in this game. And you can't say anyone played bad. Just watching the gameplay of this is insane. Now, I will say this. I did say in draft, um, we have auto fill support and uh, we have auto fill support and AD carry. Uh, or some one of them is like auto fill or something, right? So something happened like that, I think. Let me double check. Let me just double check who it was. It was the. I mean, our mid lane, Ken V9, is also an auto fill jungler playing Vagar mid. This is the second time playing it. He did actually well. You can tell, like, you'll see he gets caught out uh, as a mid laner. So, actually, I think he's just spamming mid lane for some reason now. What the hell? I, I looked in match history. Um, but he's a jungler, right? So, our support, Seraphine, was the AD carry. Um, but that person main support, oh, on a support champion who's now AD carry. Wait, they both main support. That's exactly what happened. So, we put the main support on Senna. And... It was good because you know both of them main support which is really nice right and that's really good so i kind of drafted them into doing that so they're actually kind of on row now which is very nice for that so oh so what happened was we saw a ward um that leeson ran over and so that's why i decided to go to his blue buff when we see that ward i actually don't know why actually i was looking for a gank bottom that's the, so that's why I went to bot side, but it didn't work out. Once I saw Lee Sin, I just took his cap. And, you know, now I'm doing this, I'm just going to walk down here. And let's see what we can get. Um, but uh, my plan here was to play for Jace, but it kind of got messed up. Now, they actually pinged that uh, Annie has no heal. So, actually, this was a kill, but I didn't see it in time. Which is very, uh, is very unfortunate, because I just flash auto there, she dies. So, my combo there was good. I was actually thinking of uh, flash E auto Q and then W-ing, but I guess the same result would have happened. Unless you gotta use my W as a gap closer. Then I, you know, obviously I have nothing to do. I'm not going deep in the enemy jungle. So I just come mid. I actually saw on the mini-map that there was like a fight there, right? Uh, that, that the Echo was like playing pretty far up. So after that I do that, I look at his wave. It's completely fine. Yeah, I, I don't need to do anything. He has te teleport. There's a ward here, but we know Leeson is in my top side jungle because we split the map for some reason. Um, I think... I watched Revenge's VOD and he said that the least Sin thought we late invaded their blue buff and so that's why he thought because the way they came to lane was very uh, weird and my top lane is a solo kill like on a Nico one trick top lane 80 80 Nico it's really weird what they play down here I mean that's guys a one trick it's really weird um, so he got a solo kill which is impressive as a AD main oh yes our top lane was an auto fill AD main playing jace it's crazy he auto he he solo kills while getting weak sided it's actually really crazy here i can't auto anymore like you know i'm just peeling um they started fighting and get a cage because i saw that i had nothing to do um because I, I took the wolves right and you might be wondering pants why didn't you go take their gromp uh least was top side if there's a fight it's actually good to to do pressure and if you can get like even a little poke a little poke Provides you a lot of pressure, so you can do whatever you want. 
I did not want to go through his Gromp because some usually sometimes when I go to an enemy Gromp, they all collapse on me and I die. And I don't really want to force a play into the Gromp side when my camps are up. Like it doesn't matter counter jungling too much these days, as long as your camps are up. And Gromp, I actually prioritize go golems and Gromp any uh, more because Raptors and Wolves actually give poopy XP. So if you can like have Smite up and do golems, it's actually uh, very efficient. Um, so that's why I like to prioritize this. I just did Raptors on the way because, you know, it was right there. But yeah, uh, I couldn't go to Gromp. If they do all four collapse on me, I have to blow Flash because let's be honest. Uh, and then they're playing up like this. Like, like they're playing up like this. And we have a pink ward there. We know this guy has no Flash. I actually ignore Annie right away because <coughs> I don't care about it. Um, I know he has no Flash, right? So unless he does some E thing with these walls, then he like lives. I'm helping my bot lane push. You can see they want to uh, like push. I'm not trying to take any CS. Uh, I'm just, you know, just helping them push. I don't care about my money or anything like that. Uh, also, you don't want to take soak a lot of XP in the jungle uh, lane XP because of the changes. So if you can, you know, help push when it's needed, but don't be the tax man. Don't do a uh, don't do a Kane charisma Q the wave and do nothing. Uh, they almost got that. But yeah, now I don't really have anything to do bot side for a while. Um, I could like totally regank it and wait for the wave to be pushing up. But it just doesn't seem efficient to me. So maybe I could play a little top side for a little bit. They're actually fighting. So literally, if I went bot side, if you look in the mini map, they're literally fighting right now. I could have... The way they're playing is just so... They're doing this on, not on vision. So imagine I come back bot and I do that, right? He took my whole top side. I got my wolves. So there you go. So imagine I just run to his, like, imagine if I just run to his bottom side uncontested and then gank bot lane again for the third time. It would be actually great. Like, But this is uh, a jungler who plays very robotically and that's why he's, it's really consistent. He knows it's split map, so he'll always be in my top side. Um, there's me playing, okay, well, what if RNG happens, right? I'm just, like, waiting for camp. I hate going enemy jungle a lot of, a, a lot of the times, and I don't know where Echo is. I'm playing this very safe, so I'm holding my W. I don't care if there's a pink, I just want to get this and get done. I smite it, and then I take this. Uh, my Vagar has my back. I actually don't want to fight. We don't know where the support is. So, yeah, we don't want to fight that. But, um, yeah, they know I'm bot side now, so they have to play a little safe. That's why I'm not really ganking. We still have a pink one in Tribush, but again, it's a waste of time. They know where I am, so they, the Zeri is basically holding her E and not going to E in uh, anytime. So I don't have to go. Plus, if you look at my Seraphine's health bar, just on your just on the mini map thing, you can see it's very low. So I, I don't really care, and I could have to... Nothing I can really do here. I'm level 6, looking for a gank. That's why I'm waiting for Seraphine to come. Did I have ganked this? I with just Senna. Um, thinking about it, yes, I probably could have. Honestly, I didn't have to wait for Seraphine. So, oh, but that's actually a good thing I didn't. Right? Look what happens. Look what happens. This is weird. Now it's a total bot side weird thing happening. So I'm just looking to see if Echo, like right now you should anticipate an Echo gank is coming, and you'll see that the that the game is very slow paced right now. You can see their Echo pushed in mid. And then threaten the roam. Oh, I dodged their EQs. Now this is awkward. Everyone wants to fight. I do want to fight too. I think we're stronger. So I just go in and uh, Zeri. I get healed. Uh, this looks very awkward. So I don't know. I don't have enough damage to solo kill him. We know Echo is coming. The problem with this dragon is we know Echo is there first because he's playing Echo versus Vagar. So this is why it's very awkward, and I don't really like fighting this at all. But let's see now. Something happens. Vega got collapses on this person. And weirdly enough, Vega doesn't die. Like, he should have died there. Somehow his team left him because I think the cage. Yeah, they couldn't save him. They got caged up. So Vega lives there walking into four people and doesn't get collapsed on by Echo. Actually, actually, Echo did collapse on him, but doesn't have enough damage. I guess he's way too tanky for that. So, right here, I don't have anything to do. Um. Yeah, literally, I no, I can't even gank mid without a mid laner. So I'm just autopiloting camps again. I'm just in rates that's the nearest uh, to me, um, and I'm just waiting for something to appear on the map. I don't have my alt. We just team fought. I technically could have gone bot side to get that crab, but I don't really have any more camps. Uh, like I can't 
I can go in his jungle, but my bot lane is going to back, right? So it's a little awkward to go there. And then I have to walk all the way to my left side. Just, yeah, it, it's like a little inefficient, you know what I mean? Plus Rift Herald is top side. So, unfortunately, I have it back. And maybe there's a Rift Herald fight. So look at Jace's recall. And you look at mine, right? Uh, is this is this on 1080p? Hold on. It is. It's just a little laggy in, in, in a sense. It kind of sucks. But basically... Yeah, if I recorded it, I didn't, because I didn't plan on doing it, but it's okay. Uh, basically, I haven't bought yet, which is a problem. <laughs> uh, so, and you can see Jace pushed in. He has TP, uh, and Senna is here. If we didn't get this Rift Herald, um, it's actually really bad. And they're going to die bot lane because Senna is here, and they kind of know it, which sucks. So, I have to do this, right? I literally have to do this. I literally have to do is the moment they see Senna down here is the moment they like all in bot lane. You'll see our Seraphine die. See? They know. They said, yeah, see? They flash Annie Ard and then just like all in, right? So you can't do much there. I'm now running bot lane. Uh, I'm actually pissed off. I could technically run top lane and get platings for, um, you know, what's his name? But I haven't been topside that much, right? I, I actually think you should stick to one side of the map a, a bit and not try and make all three winning lanes. Um, Seraphine and Senna are very, very strong. Uh, he gets all that. So that's actually, uh, when it comes to mini cards, you should take all of them. They get so much gold now and the XP, I think. Here, I'm just poking. All I'm doing here is just poking. Just in case we start a fight. So, let's see. I think there's a ward there. I'm looking where my ward was placed. We can see it's played over there. I actually moved the ward because I want to get some vision over down here. Um, since so I have completely nothing to do. Like, I have nothing to do. I could maybe go and fight in the jungle, but since, uh, who's MIA? What's her name? I don't know who their support is. I think it's Annie. I, I'm like, to me, personally, I'm like pissed off. Like, I have Harold, and they can't really initiate on me. Like, they don't have enough burst to kill me. And I have, uh, like, Senna and Seraphine, so we can poke. We can poke, and we can do this on the next wave. I'm literally triple laning. She has to cleanse, and there we go. So we don't know where Echo is, and yeah, here I'm literally just going to. Uh oh. They actually initiate in. I'm actually have to go and initiate their initiation. It, it's kind of weird. Get a kill on him. Leeson lands a key on me. Unfortunate. Therapy misses both E. She actually would have killed Annie. Um, but they probably want to kill uh, Leeson. So here they can keep poking for some reason. They're confident they can win the 2v2. They still have summons, I think, and when one key misses, they've killed. I don't know. But yeah, I guess it's, um, this guy is maybe first time Seraphine. It's not that hard, honestly. Let's go check his stats. Yeah, look at that. His, his dodging is good. No, this guy's sec like two win Seraphine with a high KDA. So he's actually pretty confident in how he moves, which is nice. He actually went Roro this game. I would have went Leandri's, but that's just me autopiloting. There's actually no squishies. So we're out of ages into what? Echo is pretty good. Lee Sin, so you can have a lot. Um, yeah, they're diving again, which is unfortunate. I didn't see that they're four-man diving. Okay, it's three-man, actually. I, I should maybe look at maybe uh, Seraphine's hit point. I did not, and I don't even know what it was before this. You guys can replay, replay it back to see uh, what her hit point was. But apparently she's getting pooped on in lane that badly. They're playing so aggressive, right? So imagine if they didn't split the map. And we just like, yeah, I, I think this game would have been a different story. I think what would have happened is if we contested bot side a lot more. Let's think about it. Echo gets shoved in mid against our autofill mid laner. Plus it's Vagar. He just scales. He's been getting shove all game. They come to four three-man die bot. They pissed off the Seraphine. They always get every crab, get every dragon, which they have been contesting every dragon. Um, and I go CDR boots. Honestly, I maybe should have gone Merc treads, but... Oh, it's okay. I, uh, you know, it's my first challenger game. So, um, I mean, Merc treads in the challenger game is good because you don't want to get hard to see. I'm like waiting to go in. We're just waiting, you know, Looked very awkward. Then a ping to go in. I said, okay, whatever. I don't W fast enough, so I'm gonna die here, unfortunate. 
so yeah problem with these team fights the problem with these team fights is i feel like i get exploded on and i yeah it's i'm i'm very lucky that all of these Lee Sin Qs are missing my teammates and they actually get a kill on Sari. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. It worked out decent. We lose two dragons, but I mean, it's okay. I'm actually thinking, like, should I just randomly all in the Annie or Zeri who might have cleansed? Um, they actually almost kill him and then unfortunate and then he has to e e flash out. Yeah, it sucks. Looking at the team fights though, do I really initiate on a support? I guess it's fine because we get a pick there. Uh, like Zeri can kite me and I learned one thing don't give 80 carries lethal tempo uh, If you give them lethal tempo in a team fight, they actually pop off no matter how like not fed they are They just start doing damage, you know <laughs> It's quite annoying and I think this guy's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I can't do anything there I was trying to help him, but I shouldn't have assumed he was dead um, So I'm just gonna do my caps. I could have held mid here like, I looked mid to see how much uh, minions there are. There's only like six. Uh, technically, I don't really want him to, to get that. So I should have actually held it, which was my bad. Uh, I'm just doing my camps, so yeah. I assume Seraphine and, and Senna would get it. That was kind of bad. Uh, and he gets a decent damage on it. I think they get to even get the turret, so. The right move there is to literally just go mid and to hold it. Uh, something I'm. Something I valued more was. Uh, what's it called? I actually valued... Good thing I'm here for the fight, right? Good thing here I'm right for the fight. Is that farming? Because everyone's going to be basically fighting all all game. All right? Everyone's going to be fighting all game. I get slowed. And he gets a pass. Look at that. See that? You guys see that? He gets a pass in movement speed. He would have kited me if I didn't flash on him. It's just kind of annoying. I know he's dead. So I can just do this for free. And I've gone top to stop the Nico. Yes. But honestly... Um, yeah, th these players are really good, so yeah, it's like I stopped playing Jarvan because of that reason. Jarvan ints and then goes in a team fight, alts in. If he's not fed or you know doesn't have too much uh tankiness or you know he's just not fed, it's actually really hard to play him, right? You know what I mean? It's very hard to play him if you're you just alt in and die at least wukong can w out that's why i like wukong a lot more than jarvan i think that's why they're not playing him in lcs because i never see a jarvan anymore because you have to build gordrick into black fever and solo keeps whatever right i just give him a quick also what i do a lot in wukong is if they're in eq range i went blue smite because of this i uh yeah i don't see too much assassin burst damage cc there's echo yes there's nico there's Eddie. Uh, but I like the utility from Blue Smite. It's, it's actually so useful. It's not like I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna dive in and die. I also have a, a lot of hit point too with this build. Uh, so that's good. And their, their damage right now is a lot of AD. So for me, since we have Senna Seraphine, I can build as Bruiser as much possible. I do think the Merc Treads probably would have been better. But I want to deal damage because the longer these team fights last with Senna and Seraphine, the better. We heal up, um, and we have Vagar too, right? So we just kind of like front line for them, and they'll just kind of win the game. So my job here is not to be damage bruiser. It it is also it's to do that, but it's kind of to also. Uh, oh, look at that catch! There's a catch. Literally, all I'm doing is you can see Gromp is up, but all I'm really doing is looking to get vision on Dragon. I'm also looking the Rift Herald here to give him pressure. What the hell is this? I need to see this. And I do another sweeper. I see Lee Sin. What the hell is this? He's I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, that that's what he's doing. That is what he's doing. I think they catch out Seraphine here. Oh, Vega got caught out. And I don't get the kill there. I don't get the kill there. He's too fast, has no ult. Technically, Vega can one one fight him. I see this person. See, look, everyone wants to fight, man. Everyone's caught. It's like, it's like, what the hell is going on? You know, Jace is behind flanking. Everyone constantly wants to fight. There's no farming. It's constant ARAM. And I want to do blue buff, but I I don't want. I'm on a ward. So the problem there is like, I can't go into the jungle and do their right side camps. I don't see anyone. 
show me the least sins here right I, i'm just like looking at this should i chase i actually think it's actually fine that i chase here i'm walking straight at him because i don't want him to get executed We get the kill there. It, it, it gets like they get a kill on Vagar. Like you know, this 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 is super weird. And what I'm looking is for a flank here. What I didn't know was this would happen. I looked at the replay too. Uh, actually, I looked at the other side. The other side of the dragon pit was warded where Senna just is eating right now. So I got caught out there, unfortunately. So the path there, I I have to take is a bit slower. I have to play a lot slower with a little bit more respect. Um, I just didn't know above the wall I, there was a ward, so that was kind of unfortunate. Um, but yeah, Wukong pick. I just, I kind of blind picked Wukong, but honestly, Wukong is really good into 3 AD, so the top jungle and AD carry is actually really nice. If they have AP champs, uh, I wouldn't recommend playing Wukong. He's still good if they're bruisers, but most AP champs are either tanks or AP carries, right? Uh, Wukong's anti-bruiser. You can see Echo is kind of one. I don't know why it's Nasher's tooth. Um, but that's okay. Uh, what's it? What is it called? And that is, I don't know why it's Nasher's tooth. That's so weird. Why not just Lich Bane? I'm so confused about that one. But, uh... I don't care. MR is not that bad here. I just don't care because... I don't I think I'm going to get one shot by him. He's going to throw other targets. Um, so I actually opt into farming. Why do I opt into farming? I'm actually waiting for my support and Seraphine to get in place. I already bought, so I'm literally just farming here until I can make a play. Now it's time to make a play. We're walking up together. I don't actually go to my raids. We want vision on Baron. Can we take this. I want to take all these wards. I just don't want to get bursted by Echo. Again, Echo and Annie are can probably one shot me. I am a bit scared. But yeah, that's good. We know where the ward is up there. Um, I'm literally just listening to my kings because they actually know what to do better right now, right? We're just waiting. I think I kind of I just wanted to be poked there. They're just gonna heal up, which kind of sucks. Um, so we're just making trying to make a pick there, see if we can catch him out. But I kind of play that stupidly because I gave up my position. What we should do there is push it. Oh shit. So we should push up mid wave. I have to. This is why Wukong's really good ice. He's good uh, counter engage. And I flash to my auras like Seraphine W, Zena Q, all that stuff. Yeah, let's check this out. I have to kite this. This is very awkward. Yes, this is very awkward. Somehow we don't kill her, but that's okay. We know an Echo's coming. We see Jace is very low. Why is Senna level 9? <laughs> What the hell? She's been roaming a lot, hasn't she? Now we got some pro- now here's the problem. So you guys know Echo. Echo. I saw Quantum when he tried to steal Baron from me. He did 1800 damage with his Q Smite. For me to communicate- or sorry, not Q Smite. It's Q Auto. Watch- this is- I, this is un- it's like unsmiteable, but he gets perfect timing. Wait. Oh. It was a different game. Anyways, Echo, if he gets his passive, he does 1800 damage um, with an E uh, and a Q Qs. A Q coming back. He combos it, he, e, he Qs, and then he E's, and then R's out. And I saw on Quantum Stream, if he bought an English rod, he would have still Baron for me, but he didn't. He had Rajai's. So that's why he lost the game, because of an item difference. So basically, Echo has insane smite steal. It's kind of like Jinx R. So he has his vision, and he times it well. It's really bad. One thing I will say is that uh, if you ever are. S if you have never seen Echo some, uh, steal a Baron and know and see why he steals it, you'll realize a bit after. You realize a bit after why uh when you see the replay and see how much damage he does with uh passive proccing after he throws his q you're you're gonna be like all right guys if he throws his q back off please i don't want to see two passive procs 
on the Baron. Otherwise, he can steal it. And I can't steal it as a jungler because I'm 50% reduced. So, it's very hard. Here, I'm literally just playing with my team. I, I don't want to engage. I don't want to do no diving. The team is actually really good at uh, hiding back and not getting dove on, right? I put a pink ward there just to give him no vision. Uh, but we can't... Like, the enemy's actually putting a lot of pressure right now. The point where we can't walk up, it's actually very awkward. So, we're just kind of poke with, like, Jace and stuff, but... Yeah, it looks like the enemy wants to engage with the, If they get a really good Echo W, no matter how we play it, uh, they'll actually... They'll actually might win it. So, yeah, we're, we're just trying to let Poke uh, run. We have Senna, who has no mana. We see Dragon is coming, so we just kind of run the Dragon. Horse Tongue! Um... Okay. So, a uh, pick almost happened. Um... Kick didn't work, but uh, yeah, it's okay. We got dragon here. Get dragon. What do we do next? We just run mid. I'm trying to look for engage. I actually really want to fight this if I can. I think it backs up pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, we saw Zarya's bot, right? I, I want to do sieging, but everyone wants to recall. So you look at everyone. Senna and Jace want to recall. I'm actually looking what they buy. And they... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we did enough sieging. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 like a, we can't do any more. I mean, if the carries can't do any more, right? If the carries can't literally do any more, then you have to back off. You can't do anything about it. I actually should have bought two pinks here. I think it might cost me the game for some reason. But uh, yeah, they, they don't want to siege. Can't do anything about it, right? If your carries don't want to siege, that's fine. I still want to siege because I think we can, but don't force your players to do what they can't, don't know how to do, and they couldn't. I guess we got enough farm and we're scaling. Now, four gates of Jinx Melio. This is like if we didn't have a scaling bot lane, this would have been very bad. Look at that. They dodged that. Very nice. The Echo is looking for any type of W. So, if A is being a little decently bad, I'm literally just looking for Q poke. Right, I'm just being a little aggressive. Maybe it's a little too aggressive, but if they engage on me, it would be actually pretty nice because I do have double enchanter bot lane. And I just, yeah, I'm just getting uh, stone skin stacks. I think I can walk in here. If I get bursted again, when this is what happens when I get bursted, right? I think if they all were here, I would have died, which is unfortunate. So that's what I'm scared of, but they actually catch something on Jace, and then I have to go in. I actually want to... I think I did a Q combo there. Yeah, I, I, I did a... Q. I think I, I I did my Q so fast, it actually went off in my ult. Uh, I, that's what I think, though. Might not happened. I, I, since this is a more higher ELO game, I think Stopwatch can win you the game. That's why I bought Guardian Angel. Uh, if this is a maybe more lower ELO game, well, it's awkward. But uh, maybe you go like if you're gonna one v nine, you could go death dance. It's a little awkward. I I'll tell you guys that. Jace really wanted this red buff, so I, I just back off it. I'm actually surprised Jace wanted it. Right? Like I have nothing else to do. This is why I'm like doing absolutely nothing, and I want to go top side. My wolves come up, but I didn't actually know they're coming up because I don't know. It didn't even show they're coming up, so. I smite the Gromp, because I'm, yeah, I actually just smite the Gromp. My team wants to walk up, so I walk up with them. Oh, they're just getting red buff. Never settled for second. Uh, we're, I just noticed the enemy is, is all off the map. Yeah, see what I mean? They're all off the map, so now even I'm kind of like thinking, okay. I know we can actually wave kill this a bit, just because they showed. Just a little bit, yeah. Now it's time to go all here. Okay. So far so good. So I took a damage from the red buff. Uh, I don't again I could do Gromp if I really wanted to, but I don't really care. Nico's bot lane, so looking for another pick. Looking for mid wave clear. Maybe I could have looked for a flank in their jungle somehow. They, my team wants to do it, so I say okay. They're all in position too, right? This is where it gets very tricky. Look at this, look at the Echo Q. Okay, one, that's two, we get a pick. 
I go back on Baron, but this is where it gets very awkward because I want to engage. Ah, oh. and if you replay it, let's. I mean, if you look at the replay, like this is a very hard smite. Like it's. Look at this. Look at look at that. Like. You know, do you know how hard that smite is? This was perfect timing. Like, like I can't do anything about that. <laughs> like that's that's perfect timing. Like that's why it's very hard. I pinged. I wanted to not do it. I actually pinged them to stop DPSing it uh, because I know what echo sm uh, echo combo on a Baron looks like. It's like a Jinx R. It's stupid. I kind of wish they removed it, but what can you do? Yeah, I shouldn't do this. So, yeah, I want to do this because someone's dead. Um, and I'm trying to look for a pick here. I actually could have looked for him, but this isn't okay. I actually tried the W and maybe kill her. Could have been grief. It could have been a decent pick. It could have been grief though. I'll face check. He doesn't have E anymore. That's good. Now we know what Echo is. We're all pinging where the hell Echo is. That's good. He's gonna go to contest him. Um, here. Oh, what is this? Right. He lands EQ. I just see Zeri caught out of position. I see her caught out. I'm taking a lot of damage, so I'm hoping I don't get any art or something. Uh, here he has a nice charm. Um, and then I get stunned, and then I get chain CC'd before I could flash out. So that's unfortunate. Half my team does die. Jace dies to an auto from her. And so this this team fight is very awkward. We did win it. And Nico gets the, the shutdown. There's a problem though. I, I would say so, there's one problem. If we weren't a scaling team with Vagar, we would and Senna Seraphine, we probably would have lost. Like imagine a Nautilus in this game. Imagine like a I don't know. What's a what's a crap mid laner? Um I don't know, like a and Gragas kind of scales, I guess. Uh, what's a R is pretty good. Just think an AP mage who just is a good. Or like, let's let's think a pantheon, right? Imagine if you had a pantheon. Some some guy just griefs your your champs like fix pantheon. But what's the point of that, right? Um, LeBlanc, you would lost. You would have lost this game if you had a LeBlanc. Look, these team fights are off. Yeah. But you can't do. Hey. We're we just helping him clear. I actually just stand there because, you know, who cares? He can get himself. Okay, I've done my camp. Yeah, maybe, but it's okay. I got level 15 off that. I don't have anything to back for, so I stay and we're just going to go do some sweeping. So they get Baron, and I don't really care because our team scales. I actually be more worried maybe if we had some kind of garbage Cassante non-scaling garbage champion. The champion is good if you know if it's fed, but it's kind of useless later. It's a lane bully. So here I'm just escorting. My team wants to go do something. They don't want to push mid. That's okay. Echoes on the left side. So there's a second Baron they won. Oh, that was the second Baron. Yeah, yeah they yeah it was the second one. But you can, you can, yeah, right here. Um, so my team wants to shadow and just be in this bush. And they actually want to use Jace as a bait if they want to all engage, right? So Jace is going to be our bait and see if they engage like through here. And that's what we we're hoping for. They run into there, but they're not stupid. They're not, they're not, they're turtling. And our siege is like, our siege is like, I think it's good. I, I think our team maybe could have, oh, what the heck? So our Vagar walks up. Maybe I should help them. Look at our Vagar walking up. So yeah, he thought we he had assistance from our team, right? So I have to engage here. It's like a it's like a uh, counter engage, and then we end up winning it, which it still sucks because we're giving a lot of shutdowns. So we give 700 gold for 700 gold, but we have map pressure now. So we're looking to either team fight. Yeah, a very good team fight. Get that. I'm actually looking for Echo. He's gonna ult in. He's dead too. We're looking to end. Oh wait, is that how we end? Yeah, I guess we end. This is why I told my bot lane to go Seraphine Senna. If you have two auto field supports, don't be a hero. Don't be 
you know, don't be a hero. Try and play Zaya. Don't be a Jinx player. Don't be. You can do Sivir. I guess easy. Um. But yeah, just play Seraphine and Senna. If if you guys Blitzcrank though, it, you know it's actually an impossible lane, right? But yeah, get our LP and that's it. So, um, the fuck. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's what happens when I'm put into a, a 1500 LP game. It, it's a little bit more intense. Only 26 LP for that bullshit. <laughs> One thing I will conclude is that I, you know, against other challengers. One thing I, I will say though is against other challengers, I can actually uh, match them, and maybe I can sometimes outperform them or something. But it, then sometimes in lower yellow, I I can't perform because I don't know I get tilted really easily off like stupid teammates. So. Yeah, sometimes it's just random crap in, in lower elo, but in higher elo games, I, I think it, it's fine to perform. Sometimes I, I haven't seen a game where I got uh, out, out jungle by a challenger yet. It's either even or I, you know, I just perform and it happens. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.